Okay, now we're going to talk about search. This is actually uh, my favorite part of the Watchtower Library program and what really makes it powerful. So far everything we've uh, looked at, if you've watched the other two videos, basically is simple navigation and understanding the windows and the various features. But now we're going to talk about the powerful feature of search. Uh, as you can imagine, uh, searching for a word or phrase uh, in a publication is very very powerful. At the same time the the biggest complaint most have is that when they search uh, they just don't know what to search for, how to search effectively and they get way too many references that come up with the search term. So let's just start off with some of the features of the search. Now the box here, the search box here is our entry data entry box or entry box area and as we noted before there's a drop down box so if you've searched for something before uh, it will come up in the last, I think, 10 occurrences there. Um, there's also a, a search menu item. And some of the same things that are in this menu item are also in this little drop-down box. So, so there's a kind of a, a duplicate list here. One of the things you want to be very cognizant of is this scope, the search scope. and this really comes into play with any multiple word search. And this is one of the first things you want to think about. My preference is to start at the sentence scope and then work more broadly from there. What that means is if I search for two things, a scripture and a, and a word or two words, it's going to look for those two occurrences within the same sentence. For example, if we say uh, Matthew 6, 9, and the word Jehovah. As you can see, uh, those two words coming in this scripture and this word in the same sentence only come up 255 times out of all the publications. So obviously, um, we've got something we can work with here that's not an extensive list. If we change the scope to paragraph scope, and we notice now that we went up to 1,564. So that means that the, the scripture Matthew 6, 9 and the name Jehovah occur in the same paragraph 1,500 times. And if you say article, now it's just an astronomical number that will not help you. You'll be lost in the search. So again, starting with the sentence scope keeps it down to a manageable uh, number that we can work with. Now, if you notice here, what came up in what we call the search option area is the number of times this occurred together, 255. Bible citations is only one, and then reference works, you see the number nine. So these are kind of a categorical uh, area where you can search from. So search occurrences, notice is highlighted right now, and then here's our list of what we call the results list now. And if you notice, there's a number. So in the Bible, it says, okay, Matthew 6, 9, and Jehovah 14 times. So just to look at that, let's double-click on Bible. And it comes up with reference Bible, so we double-click again. Now it's showing that here, interestingly enough, in Leviticus, there's two occurrences. So if we click on that, you may wonder, okay, well, how is it that, that the name Jehovah is here, but I don't see Matthew 6, 9? Well, you notice there's a highlighted cross-reference. So Matthew 6, 9 is mentioned in the cross-reference for this, and that's why it's considered in the same sentence scope, just to explain that. And here if we go to Insight Volume and you look under Jehovah, here's Matthew 6, 9, and 10, and the name Jehovah. So quickly you can see that if you search for a scripture and the word, you find a much more uh, appropriate reference to what you're searching for. And the same is true in the Watchtower. Now, before we get too far into the search results, we also want to notice that there's two different results screens. This is called a categorized, um, this is actually called a categorized occurrences list. And you notice that's a little set down here on these two tabs on the bottom. If you click on most occurrences, it will actually search in each particular place that it's found for the most occurrences of that word or grouping of words. So in this case, in the IT or the Insight volume, page 50 under Jehovah, there's a total of five occurrences 
and probably if we scroll through this over here we'll see that there again there's three more occurrences two two Jehovah's in the same paragraph the same sentence with Matthew 6 9 so that's another way you can look at the results most people like to use and we recommend using the categorized occurrences it's it's a little easier to figure out where you're at and what you're looking at it's kind of a preference okay so let's go back here now the Bible citations uh, obviously it found Matthew 6 9 so there it is uh, no surprise there now if we click on reference works it's gonna s to break out the two searches if you notice that it comes up with the Bible or the index for Matthew 6 9 from the Bible in both the 86 to 11 index and in the 1930 to 1985 index then it also gives us the occurrences of Jehovah in the insight book the index and the reasoning book and then even the name Jehovah if we want, Jehovah. It, we want it pronounced you see a little uh, horn there or speaker so that can happen with any search you can look you can kind of categorize these and uh, where that comes really comes in handy is if, especially if you're doing a Bible reading and you're selecting a, a number of verses like this you put a dash in between well, under Bible citations, you'll get the whole set of verses. If you look under reference works, here's the index, 86 to 11, and each particular verse comes up over here. Okay. So let's talk about a couple other search tips. We want to make sure that um, you know what, what you can do to search effectively. So typically you have an interested a, a topic maybe maybe you don't have a scripture you just have a topic you type in the word faith it's not too helpful it's a very common word and it's going to come up 35,000 times so maybe you're interested in how Jesus showed faith so you put faith in Jesus in the same sentence now you've narrowed it down maybe you want to show understand how Jesus showed faith in his prayer so now you put a third word in. Wow, now we get down to only 106 occurrences. Now we've got something that we can use. When we get down into the hundreds, it's, it's now something we can use to search with. It works out much better to put more words in that are appropriate rather than searching just one word. Now, another tip you can use is, we, if you noticed here, we used faith, Jesus, and the word prayer. But maybe we're interested in not just when the word prayer comes up, but maybe forms of the word prayer like pray or praying and so if we take the ER and we substitute a, an asterisk symbol for that that will say that any word that starts with the four letters P-R-A-Y and then anything else after that will come up in our searches so now we're up to 360 so now we've kind of broadened the search a little bit and made it more effective for what we're looking for so that because of the English language that comes in very handy because a lot of words we search for have multiple tenses and endings that uh, make it challenging to think of all the combinations so using the asterisk or what we call a wild card search can help that and uh, that can be the same with faith maybe you want faithful and so you put faith in there and now we see that there are other forms of the word faith that added to the number of results so it's a, it's a nice feature to use that wild card search but uh, it certainly is recommended that we we use it as after we've narrowed it down to a smaller search category or used more words. So another thing you can use is quotations. A couple things that are nice to use here is the quotations. Um, here's an interesting one, and I'm going to bring it up from the box here. Understanding clarified. If we search that uh, and we go to the index, a lot of points in the index there's been clarification over the years so using the understanding clarified uh, gives us a nice way to bring those things out in the Watchtower Library the same thing with uh, Bible view in the index when you're looking under certain topics there's always a, a section called Bible view and that can uh, get you to that Another uh, nice phrase is the meaning of term And again, that same idea, we're looking for the meaning of the term to come up in the index. 
So those are some things you can search for. Uh, sometimes you can also look up a word and you can put in the word Greek and you can find out uh, where a, a word has a Greek meaning. So here it is, faith is translated from the Greek, and there's the Greek word. So there's a lot of different things you can do with the search box. It even gets uh, quite a bit more fancy than this. If you are interested in searching for, um, let's go back to our Jesus, and we want to search for faith. And maybe you also want to search for faith or righteousness. Now this little symbol is right above usually your enter key. It's a shift backslash. It's a straight up and down line and it's considered to be or, an or function. So what we're saying is we want to search for Jesus and then by putting these two words in the parentheses with this symbol in between we're saying we're looking for the word Jesus where it occurs with faith or righteousness. And this can get, you can make your searches quite a bit uh, unique with this so maybe you now you go back and add in the word pray again and so now you're looking for Jesus and with regard to praying some form of praying and faith and righteousness in the same sentence so here under prayer you find the word Jesus the word prayer and faith all within the same sentence same at this instance under Matthew according to the good news according to Matthew so you can see that effective searches are really up to your creativity and they can also really bring out what you're looking for and so you can even add in a um, a scripture in this to even simplify the searches now so I put Matthew 6 9 Jesus pray faith and righteousness I only have 13 occurrences now so we're really getting down to exactly what we're looking for and uh, just sticking with that. So um, again, you can add in the wildcard and get a slightly more extensive list. Another thing that to be aware of is when we do a search, let's go back to um, let's go back to the understanding clarified. When we double click on our publications index, we double click on the index we want and let's say we start here at the beginning of the list Abrahamic Covenant. If I click over in this window and you can see the cursor blinking here and now I would just like to maybe scroll through all the search results manually using your plus and minus keys on your keyboard you can just go to the next list item in the list and it'll continue going through and it's a nice way to just roll through the ones you're looking for. You can do the same thing with the buttons over here. There's an up and down button so you can scroll through the different results. So that's it for the search for now. Um, we're going to end this video and start a new one on some other tips.